hello guys today i will show you how to make a preloader animation which will look like this using only html and css files i am not going to use any kind of javascript file for it okay now let's say here i am going to use a text editor called the sublime text editor you can use any other text editor like notepad plus plus or black ads etc okay now let's start coding mm, here you can give it any title say it preloader now mm, we are linking the css file which we are going to made for this to the html mm, it is a style set and uh, the it's the we are referencing it to its name it, it is two underscore u dot css and i'm closing the link tag now we are going to write the main code for which we are implementing the css in the body tag here i'm going to create a div and uh, i'm also giving it id called uh, loader and uh, closing the div tag okay now you can as you see that in the animation there was three balls or you can say three dots anything so we have to make it using div or span or any tag whatever you like to use but mind it you cannot use a paragraph tag or any other tag you should use the div tag or span tag or that uh, on order list or order list etc but here i am only using the div tag and i'm also giving it id called ball and now i'm closing it sorry now i'm copying this three times because there were three balls and I am giving all the and I am giving all the three balls the same ID called ball okay now that's it for the HTML now for the loader hmm, first of all we will give it margin okay margin top here we will give it 300 pixels and uh, margin left we will give it 600 pixels we are giving it because we want the animation to take place in the center of the web page or on in the center of the document mm, the left margin is double of the top margin because generally the laptop screen or pc screen in the laptop screen or pc screen the horizontal line is double than the vertical line mm, approximately double the vertical line okay now for the id ball we have to set the width to 20 pixels and height to 20 pixels now this will create a square of height and width 20 pixels now i'm giving it border radius as per, as you can see that this will create the, the the square in the circle okay now there are three poles so we are displaying in as a block or in line block this property will display all the three balls in a single line as you can see in the animation okay and the margin between the balls and so again the margin that is this this much space between the three balls is uh, you can say 
10 pixels again okay so that's it and now we are animating edge ball for this we will use the ant child property okay for the id ball ball and child say it one okay then we will apply animation called you can give it any name i will give it bounce and it will last for one second and the animation timing function is is in out and it will last for infinite time okay now i'm giving it a background color mm, say the background color suppose red oh i'm sorry okay that's it mm, now i'm copying this three more two more times now for the second child that that is the second ball it the animation will last for one second it, then property is easy now but here we are adding the timing delay animation delay you can say this the, the second ball will start start to animating after 0.33 seconds okay this will not start in this we can give it uh, zero second also okay and give it color you can give a yellow and now for the third child all this thing are same but this will start after 0.66 seconds and give it a color say black okay now for the keyframes for the animation bounce okay one second please. for zero percent mm, transform translate y to zero pixels and at no yeah yeah for this we are giving it at zero percent at fifty percent and at seventy five percent yes and hundred percent okay one hundred percent it will be on the position zero but at twenty five percent of the animation it will transform the y axis to 20 pixels in the upper direction oh my god in the closing bracket okay now you can see that what i have done here is i am giving at the animation at 0% 50% 75% and 100% i will transform the y axis to 0 pixel and at 25 percent i will transform it by 20 pixels in the upper direction or you can say it uh, anything suppose say 25 pixels okay that's it mm, save it now yeah okay you can also give a background color in the body suppose mm, giving a light blue color now save it and open it in the browser yeah you can now see mm. yeah i think it's somehow bigger margin i've given i should reduce the margin suppose say five pixels and reopening it okay now that's cool okay now you can see a nice animation effect which can be used for any page loading or in document loading okay so that's it for this video 
thank you guys for watching this video and please like and subscribe and if you have any doubts about this animation or anything in this video you can comment down below okay thank you guys for watching this video thank you very much